Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are talking again, Fallout, more details about this Amy Robach and TJ Holmes scandal, specifically about TJ Holmes, because he is laying it low and spreading it wide, you guys. And according to page six, we've already heard about, you know, the three-year affair with the former married producer that was at ABC. We already have exposed, as you guys know, since last week, the affair with Amy Robach, his co-host for GMA3. But now, apparently, there is at least one other staffer that TJ Holmes has allegedly had an affair with, you guys, at the job. Make it make sense. So he is juggling this three-year affair, his wife. And now Amy and whoever else this other staffer is, and there could be potentially be more, you guys. There could be more than three, you guys. I don't know what's going on. I do not know what's going on. I do not know if it is one of those things where, you know, TJ just, he has to have something new. He has to have something new and is not satisfied with what he has. Because this is a problem, you guys. This is a problem, and it makes sense that um, ABC had to pull them. ABC had no choice but to pull them because they could be subjecting themselves to lawsuits. They could be subjecting themselves to anybody who wants to make any potential harassment claims, especially since we are in the post-Me Too era, you guys. We do not know how bad this is going to be. And not just for TJ Holmes, but there could be potential affairs, additional affairs exposed on Amy Roback as well from her previous employment at other networks, you guys. So this is very ugly, and it also said in the article that there are some producers who cannot stand T.J. Holmes and says basically that he is a jerk to them on the set. So definitely some people had an axe to grind. Definitely some people were waiting for the opportunity for the House of Cards to come down for T.J. Holmes and Amy Robach because now all of a sudden everybody has tea. Now all of a sudden everybody knows all of the different staffers that TJ Holmes has allegedly been hooking up with, you guys. And I need to know who is leaking the details, you guys. Who hired the private investigator? I don't think it would be the wife, you guys, because here's the thing. I think she did that previously from the three-year affair. And how she dealt with that three-year affair, we never knew about it, you guys. We never knew about it. So it has to either be, you know... Either I'm still guessing, speculating, potentially Amy Robach's husband, right? Because he doesn't need the money. I think he's worth over $100 million. So money's not an issue for him, right? I think he's a possible suspect. And I think, you know, anybody else who previously have been involved with TJ Holmes that, you know, potentially there might have been some overlap. Potentially there might have been some juggling um, once they got wind of this relationship with Amy Wobeck, which is why the private investigator had those pictures, including the one of TJ Holmes grabbing Amy Robach's behind you guys. So it's just a hot mess, you guys. And it is not going to get any better anytime soon. The article still thinks that, you know, TJ and Amy are going to be back on the air. Um, that remains to be seen. We will see whether or not that comes to fruition or not. I do not know, you guys. I do not know, but at least in the short term, you know, they're not going to be on ABC, you guys. But is it worth it, you guys? Is it worth it to, you know, basically sleep with your coworkers and risk your job, risk your career, risk your reputation, um, all because you could not be faithful, you guys. You could not be faithful um, to your spouses and you both have histories of cheating and, and, and so forth. So at this point, I'm just here for the next expose, you guys. I'm here for the next expose, whether it is another, you know, staffer that wants to come forward or who is released or who is affiliated with ABC or if former co-workers are going to start to come out that worked with TJ Holmes at BET, that worked with TJ Holmes at um, MSNBC and all of his other stops, you guys, because this can get very messy. This could be a Tiger Woods situation where, remember, he had like 20 women come out and all said that they were sleeping with him, you guys, and he had to enter sex rehab. Like, we do not know. This is the tip of the iceberg. And it just goes to show, you guys, 
who is protected in this industry and who is not protected because why is it months later and we still have no idea who Nia Long's fiance was sleeping with at the Boston Celtics organization, you guys, but they were quick to out him and quick to fire him, you guys. But we still have no idea who the wife is or who the alleged women were that worked for Boston. But the women are coming out every day, you guys, within a week, within days of this affair being exposed of anybody and everyone who has ever been involved with TJ Holmes. And honestly, I think, like I said, had they not been smug and had there not been additional women that, you know, have been linked to TJ Holmes at the workplace, at the office, this would not be a thing. They would not be suspended. But then the fact that they were so smug and, you know, basically said it was no big deal because they were consenting adults and basically were mocking, you know, the stories and everything else on air the following day. Like they just they dug their own graves, you guys. They dug their own graves because they were not humbled and they were not taking this seriously you guys and they were not underestimating the reaction to what the public is going to be and to what their audience is going to be i think also robin roberts and george stephanopoulos uh run things there at abc and you know had some words with kim goodwin and whoever else in the higher ups and said listen we are not going to have our brands ruined or be associated with this trash do something right because they're not going to be the ones being taken down they're not going to be the ones that are going to have to suffer through low ratings because they have co-workers that cannot keep it in their pants and be professional at the workplace make it make sense you guys um so there is that but let me know what you guys think what do you guys think that there is at least a third staffer that works with tj holmes that also had an affair with him as well you guys what do you guys think i mean i'm not shocked I just want to know, you know, when when the numbers are going to stop, right? Like, what's next? Is there going to be another person? Like I said, are they going to dig into the archives? Um, are we now going to get into some lawsuits? Like, what is next, you guys? Are they going to move TJ Holmes to a different department? Are they going to separate him and Amy Wolbach? Are they both going to lose their jobs? What is going to happen? Please let me know in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.